Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be checking out a brand new truck called the Heritage 211. Now, this truck is available on PC as well as it's going to be available on consoles as soon as it gets approved, but it is fully console friendly, and it actually only uses a tiny, tiny amount of RAM. It's like 14 megabytes of RAM, so this should allow you to run multiple, either multiple of these or or this with multiple other trucks, even on an older console. Now, obviously, this is based on a 2500 or 3500 single cab long bed Chevrolet, and it's kind of got a little bit of a mixture of 2500 parts and 3500 parts here and there. Now, one of the cool things about this truck as well is that it's designed to be able to fit into a campaign playthrough just like a vanilla truck would, or if you want to fit it into maybe, say, for example, a role play that you're doing on a mod map, or if you're trying to complete the objectives on a mod map. You can do that with it as well. Or if you want to make it properly powerful, you can also do that. Now, this project was a collaboration between Puppy Master and Mr. Buses. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire it up. We'll get it in the garage and see what we can do with this thing. I've never driven it before. I've never seen the customization options, but I'm definitely excited to check it out. Oh, it's got a quick startup. Let's see. Oh, dude. That's actually a very proper, like, Chevy interior. That's awesome. Working gauges, too. Dude, that's sick, especially out of something that uses so little RAM. And what's also really nice about this truck is that there's a lot of... There's obviously a lot of quad cab trucks in this game, but seeing a single cab, especially like a single cab newer truck, is really cool. Like, I am all about that. Now, let's see. Engine-wise, we've got the AAT 8V52 Custom, which is going to be one of the base game engines. That's going to get you a C-plus power-to-weight rating. Not very good. And then you have the V-Spec, uh, which is kind of, you know, the vanilla spec, a 5.7 V8, which is going to give you a B power-to-weight uh, rating. Racing? Rating. And then you have the Dirty Max engine, and that's going to give you an S. So we're going to go for that. You can actually fully Duramax swap this truck. And then gearbox-wise, you have the Crawler Box HD, you have a Scout transmission, you have an Off-Road, and then you have the OP transmission, which essentially has a bunch of high-speed gears, as well as all of your low-speed crawling ratios. And it's essentially a do-it-all transmission with over-the-top speed, if that is what you're looking for. I think we're going to start out with the Crawler Box HD. And then after that, we will switch over to the R&D transmission. Now, in terms of suspension, you have stock, you have active hauling, and you have lifted. The only thing is, obviously, like with the lifted, that definitely stretches out the IFS a little bit and gives you a little bit more positive camber than uh, I would like. But I think what we'll do is we'll do the active hauling, and then we'll go from there. Now, let's see. So you start out on a 38-inch tire, but you can go up to, at least on the highway tires, you can go up to like a 43 if you would like. Let's see. I like these stock all-terrains, actually. The stock all-terrains are not bad looking at all. And the suspension may also look better or sit better when it's got weight on it. So that's definitely something I'm keeping in mind. Now, let me see if I can find... Oh, God. You could put Tega tires on this thing. This thing looks weird with Tega tires. But at the same time, like, I'm not mad about it. It's kind of like a sweet womp truck almost at that point now let's see what do we have oh we even have some chained options interestingly the positive camber isn't quite as pronounced with those those look a lot more natural i don't know why those look so much more natural as compared to like all of these other tires but you also have chained rear duels which i really dig as well i wonder if we've got the fenders to kind of back those up these look sick all right let's see if i can get a tire that looks a little bit better. Like, here's the thing. I don't want it to show, like, all of that positive camber. And, like, some tires like these, for example, don't show it as much. But, like, I'm so back and forth on which ones I want to use because of that. I think what we'll do is we will use... Let's see. Let me go up. And then we'll find... Hmm, I'm sure that some of these have been code edited at some point. I'll tell you what. We'll use these, the AS2s. We'll, we'll just go with the AS2s because they look all right, and they definitely are... I mean, they're a mud grappler, so they're something that you could see on a... You know, you could imagine seeing these on a real-world truck. Tall front-facing snorkel, and let's see. You could do a flatbed if you want to haul a single unit of cargo while I'm sure still being able to tow a trailer behind it. Maintainer frame, I'd really dig that. Small sideboard bed, fuel carrier, that weighs it down a lot. 211 bed, service cab, saddle high end, saddle low. The fact that you could do a high saddle on this little tiny truck is, is, it's, uh, it's delightful, let's just say. It is quite delightful. And let's see, rooftop, you have a flasher bar, you've got fog lights, you've got beacons and fogs. You actually got, ooh, got some interesting bumper options for sure. 
I'm gonna leave it with the stock bumper, I think, but there's, well, actually, can we take the stock bumper off? Hold on. Oh, you can't, like, do a bumper delete. I was trying to see if you could do a bumper delete, and there's actually, these are essentially some base game bumpers, but this one doesn't look too bad. I just, I, like, I wish the bull bar portion wrapped around the headlights, but it's not really, like, that big of a deal, although at the same time, like, I kind of like the way the stock bumper looks. Now, let's see. I actually think these wheels kind of suit the truck just a little bit better, and let's see what, ooh, okay, wait a minute. So you can actually change this to, like, a blacked-out chrome, but keep the camo if you want, and then, ooh, I see, okay, so you could have, like, red with chrome on the bumper, or red with a blacked-out bumper, and it's actually, like, textured as well, I kind of dig that, now, at the end of the day, you've got way more color options than, oh, you even have, like, you even have, like, I, I hesitate to say color matched because it's essentially, like, red chrome, but you've got shiny colors, you've got matte colors, and you've got, like, a really, really wide range, big lineup of colors to choose from. So, at the end of the day, you've pretty much got every single option you could ever want. I think I'm gonna go with the red and then the chrome texture, and then we'll do a, let's see, Bobbledar or Beans? Bobbledar or, I think Beans for now, and then we'll run like the bobble dar if we're going to use it on like say for example a campaign playthrough or something like that oh i forgot that this crawler box hd was an active not necessarily an active but a variable ratio it drives nicely it really does let's see what kind of oh dude that's awesome it can run uh red's goosenecks as well red's goosenecks pog trailers and the IX tag behinds, so whichever modded trailer packs you have installed, like, essentially, you can pretty much run, you can even run the Glitchworks 8-slot flatbed if you're really feeling, you know, if you're really feeling out there and you want to run something crazy, you totally could. And actually, for testing purposes, since we have the hauling suspension, let's do uh, Pog's Viking Tilt Deck, and let's raise the suspension up. It's not bad. And now let's get it over to the... Oh, God. It's going a weird, like... It, it starts to move around in a weird way. All right, so let's see. Let's do a cargo container. Bro, that doesn't even, like, affect it. Even if I put it into, like, lower mode. I mean, it's not even... It's not even sitting down at all. It's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Why are you worried about me? Like, I'm... Literally, there's nothing to worry about here. What is your actual concern? All right, let's make a quick right. And, oh, God. I was kind of worried that trailer was going to, like, you know, slide out on me. But at the same time, I mean, this thing does a really good job of keeping everything really under control. Now, while I would love to see more custom tire options on this truck and on this mod, I understand why they're not there because of the simple fact that this mod was designed around the idea of keeping the RAM usage as low as humanly possible so that as many players on as many consoles could use it as possible. And I'm sure that this was also in prep for the potential, you know, for Switch mods later on down the road, because as of right now, we don't really know what the thresholds are for that. We just know it's going to be a lot lower than some other systems. But if this ends up being a truck that is available on everything, I mean, really... I think that's going to be a big step forward in modding because I think a lot of people, a lot of people are not only going to really like it, but a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, that's like a Chevy 2500, you know, single cab that I can run on my Xbox Series X and my PC and on my Switch. Like, that's, that's pretty freaking sick that IX has been able to do that. All right, let's see if we can, oh boy, can we actually, no, come on. Okay, that's, that's annoying. The fact that it... And, and that's that's not like a bad thing with the truck. That's just one of those annoying things with the winch. I just got to get her on out of the river. And I'm sure that the fact that we're having trouble in the river is because of the vanilla tires we're using right now. And vanilla tires are going to be just one of those things. But come on. Oh, wow. You do not want to move, do you? You are like, you are like stuck in there. Come on. Let's get you up onto like, at the very least, the road. Sheesh. Come on. Bro, oh my god, move! Go! This thing is not excited at all. I mean, I've got the lockers on. I've got, like, everything on. Let me try, like, low minus. It's helping? Well, it's not quite low minus. It's, like, in between low minus and standard low. 
it's that one loose rock behind the passenger rear tire and it is really really holding us up well maybe not for long there it is. finally geez there it is almost come on go wow it needs the lockers on pavement just to like move right now because of the fact that there's all those uh loose rocks kind of like kind of like essentially holding us up but it does look great though it does look absolutely freaking awesome and again there's i feel like there's been such a not a lack of single cabs per se but like it's almost one of those things where it's like single cab trucks need love too and the fact that like this one is here and available for essentially everybody is such a like it, it's such an awesome thing to see all right i'm gonna go ahead and delete that trailer and let me go ahead and remove the cargo detach delete and now we're gonna do a little bit of wheeling in this thing so let's see how you do up this hill come on oh maybe not maybe it doesn't do up that hill it's like yeah i don't do when it comes to the hill i don't do can you like okay all right we're switching up the tires because i know that i said i was like all about these tires here hold on lifted and then let's see cat mud tires why not maybe those will work pretty well let's see let's find out okay but, whoa okay those have definitely been modified in terms of coding those feel like they've been modified. I, at least I feel like they've been modified. Let me go back just a little bit. Let me try that again and not get completely stuck. Okay, yeah, that's... The, the tire coating on these has been messed with. And I say that in, like, a good way. Like, that's a good thing. Because the, the setup we had on it before, that vanilla setup, was not quite cutting it. I wonder how this thing would be with the Tega tires. It would be so silly with the Tega tires, but I feel like it would be really, really fun. Come on, easy. There we go. Not bad. I mean, it really does work its way through stuff on a level that I would say it's, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit better than like a traditional like vanilla truck, but it's not quite, you know, it's definitely not on like crazy level. It's definitely within that game balance that I think, you know, some people like to stay within. So, but again, that's all up to, you know, all up to how you play. Let me see if I can find... There it is. There's the Tega tires. Now we have them. Come on. You know what? We're not even going to worry about the rocks with these. We're going to go straight to the mud. I'm going to send it. Uh! Well, that definitely bounced a bit. I wonder how hard it is to roll back over with these freaking Tega tires on it. Come on, bring it back down. That's not bad, actually. It doesn't get caught on its side as badly as I thought it would. Because I thought it was going to get caught on its side really, really bad. All right, let me go ahead and repair that damage. It looks so much better now. All right, quick run through the mud to see how it does. And then we're going to go through the dips obstacle and then head out, of course, to the bridge jump once we throw the over-the-top transmission in it. And actually, it sends pretty good through the mud. Or at least the shallow mud and high with the Tega tires. It's pretty dang good. Although when it starts to get out here, you can definitely see where it starts to slow down. I just feel like it could be maybe a little bit, like, mm, it's a little iffy. I don't know if I would take it into super deep mud. But again, it's definitely like a like one step above kind of where a vanilla truck would be. A little bit quicker than a vanilla truck, but nothing super over the top. All right, repair and refuel. Taking it through the dips obstacle, and then after that, like I said, it's time for the fast transmission and the bridge jump. All right, Beans, how do you think we're gonna do through the uh, the dips obstacle, huh? Yeah, me too. All right, let's see. Lockers on. It's really not bad. I mean, I think the biggest the biggest worry is gonna be getting the front bumper hung up. <laughs> this is literally the long and short of it. it it's the biggest worry is going to be getting the front bumper hung up and that's not a bad thing it just kind of means that you have to adjust your line accordingly nice and easy not bad it works its way through in a very like i almost i was going to use the word productive way but like it's not necessarily that it's like productive is the wrong word but it's like it's reliable it's dependable it's not necessarily the, you know, the flashiest way to get the job done, but will it get the job done? Absolutely, it'll get the job done. All right, so let's go ahead and make one more switch back to these tires. 
And that looks a little bit strange, but either way, we'll put it back to the hauling suspension so it looks a little bit better. And then now, we're gonna go with the, I think, IV211 Gearboxes 2, I guess? It's an 8-speed? I mean, I would assume that that's the crazy one. Like, I, 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 I feel like that makes sense that that would be the crazy one. Oh, it goes right to 6th? Dude, we went from 1st gear to 6th gear. What the heck is this? There's 7th. Whoa! All right, we've almost... Okay, we ran off the road just a little bit, but I'm trying to keep the running off the road to a minimum. Wow, there is a lot of camera adjustment. Look at that! I did not think it was going to give us that much camera adjustment. It handles actually really well, though, with these custom highway tires. It handles really freaking well. I'm just going to lock it in high going up the hill. And as soon as we're ready... All right, let's put it back in automatic. We're going to go into interior view so camera doesn't freak out. There's seventh. Come on, give me eighth gear. There's eighth gear. And yeet. Oh, my God. We're right. Oh, my God. Straight over the barrels and a front flip. And we're now okay. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.